Breaking news everyone, Tesla made several changes to the Model 3 and Model Y that were highlighted in a new internal post. Some of these were previously reported. These changes apply to both Fremont and Shanghai built Model 3 and Model Y Tesla models and will be phased into new regions. Transition is completed by the quarter two of 2022. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from talknews.com. We have breaking news from Tesla making changes in Model 3 and Model Y. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla announcement several of day every day. And if you like this report, please give us thumbs up and share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it. So Sawyer Merritt, who always provides breaking stories on Twitter about Tesla has made this tweet based on an internal post from Tesla saying Tesla has made several changes in the Model 3 and Model Y made in Giga Shanghai and Fremont. These changes will go also into other regions and transition of these changes are expected to be completed in quarter two, 2022. Some of these changes we already knew about, but they are being completed. So Sawyer says, uh, some of the changes are AMD processor, Li-ion low voltage battery, lighter than the outgoing lead acid battery and is easier to replace. We knew about this. Heated wiper park, I think this is new, helps on, on help, this helps unfreeze wiper from lower section of the windshield. Feature can be activated from mobile app or center display. Other changes include all cars come with necessary hardware and feature uh, may be activated via over the air update shortly after delivery owners will be notified release uh, on uh, on release notes and uh, updated speaker count uh, there are now 13 speakers from 14 plus uh, subwoofer tesla has removed the center instrument panel speaker so we're also talking about other changes made in model 3 and model y says tesla says they did this to reduce complexity and redundancy with no appreciable difference in sound quality when it comes removing one speaker out of 14 making it 13 speaker and uh, tesla says and the new speaker setup gives them more flexibility in the future or sound audio improvement they said so it also says trailer auxiliary tow hitch enabled vehicles it's been disabled new 12 uh, volt uh, lv li-ion battery requires a new power conversion adapter to be completable uh, com compatible with the 12 volt trailer power adapter will be available in mid 2022 and owners can retrofit then trailer lights brakes uh, no in, not impacted on this and to, uh, sawyer uh, says finally talking about the changes made to model 3 and model y changes tesla notes that they have no plans to offer any of these options above as service retrofit that includes the amd processor now some people ask so these changes will be made over time they're not going to be on cars delivered in the next month or so so Sawyer says most of it, not all of these changes are already in the cars being shipped. Only thing maybe still coming is that Viper uh, heater stink. And another person says, hey Sawyer, uh, I have a delivery date of January 22nd with no VIN assigned yet. In your opinion, do you think my order will come with these changes? Sawyer says, yeah, most of it, not all of it. And another question people ask is, what about the door panels that were introduced in 2020 model 3 refresh are those coming to the fremont model y as well uh, sawyer thinks probably eventually they will come he says i don't know when though so these are the changes that are coming to tesla model y and changes to model 3 and uh, what's interesting they're expanding and i'm sure that giga berlin which is about to start and giga factory uh, uh, austin that is about to start operations will also come with this 
updated Model 3 and updated Model Y uh, changes made in these vehicles. Well, friends, let me know. Are you excited about these changes? What do you think about them? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also give us thumbs up, like this video if you found the information helpful. Have a wonderful day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Breaking news, everyone, this morning. Tesla will be delivering 15 pre-production Tesla semis to Pepsi for testing by end of January at Pepsi's Modesto, California Frito-Lay facility. The Tesla semis were built in Giga Nevada and will use new 4680 battery cells. Pepsi is installing several mega chargers at the facility. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. So last November, if you remember, PepsiCo CEO Raymond LaGuarta surprised the electric vehicle community when he noted during an appearance on CNBC that his company, PepsiCo, was looking forward to the first deliveries of the Tesla Semi in quarter four 2021. The statement was quite shocking since even Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been very conservative about the release date of Tesla Semi the class 8 all-electric truck but it looks like now tesla is giving semi more love sightings of what appeared to be freshly built tesla semis were reported near gigafactory in nevada in late 2021 and i shared them yesterday i reported that yesterday if you've seen my yesterday's report though by the end of the year it seemed that PepsiCo would have to wait a bit longer before it could take delivery of its first electric trucks. This wait might not be very long. However, as recent reports from the electric vehicle community have suggested that PepsiCo may end up taking delivery of its first 15 Tesla semis as early as this month, reports Simon Alvarez at Tesla Radio. Simon says to prepare for the Tesla semis arrival, the the EV maker Tesla has reportedly started installing several mega chargers at PepsiCo's Modesta, California facility. Images shared with EV publication Drive Tesla indicated that the semi's mega chargers are connected to a mega pack battery. The power output of the mega chargers was reported to be a whooping 1.5 megawatt as well, which should allow the Tesla semi to charge its massive battery pack fairly quickly. Interestingly enough, previous estimates suggested that the semi's mega chargers would have peak rates of about 1 megawatt. Now we're talking about 1.5 megawatt, which probably give more speed to Tesla semi charging. Maybe while we're waiting in this time, Tesla has sped up or improved some things with Tesla semi's uh, specs. While Tesla has been mostly silent about the progress of the semi, the development of the all electric class eight long hauler has been going full throttle behind the scene. New semi prototypes showing evident uh, updates from the Alpha units produced years ago were spotted across the country over the year, reports Simon Alvaridi at Tesla Radi and says Tesla also set up a facility near Giga Nevada to produce the vehicle in limited quantities, considering that clients such as PepsiCo are only expecting a few semis for now, Tesla's Nevada site would likely be up for the job. Perhaps the most existing factor, actually ex exciting factor about the semis reported deliveries this month, however, would be the vehicle's batteries, not uh, Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi, and I agree with him. 4680 batteries in Tesla semi, that's what we probably need. Expectations are high that the semi would be using Tesla's new 4680 battery cells, which were unveiled on battery day. Tesla has been showing some encouraging signs with the 4680 ramp with a Model Y test body in Giga Texas being spotted recently with what appeared to be a space for structural battery pack. If Tesla could launch the semi in limited numbers with 4680 battery cells this year, then it could be yet another milestone for the company and its battery production aspiration. We know that Tesla is producing uh, 
the 4680 uh, batteries at its Kedo Road facility near Fremont and now putting them into actual pre-production vehicles would be great. So it might, um, might the delay be due to PepsiCo not readying its on-site charging in time because remember we were expecting these 15 trucks at the end of 2021 but now before that of course you should see on-site charging at PepsiCo. So maybe they're building it right now that's why and Tesla is building the new semis. So what do you think friends? Either way this first customer of Tesla for commercial haulage will go uh, down in history as a key event and uh, notes one commentator at Tesla Rally. This is Armin Haryan from Torque news.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla breaking announcements join our community let me know your thoughts in the comment section below friends give us thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it that would be great help guys and i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you peace be with all of you and have a wonderful day let's move on to our next tesla story